Okay, all right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Stars. Uh, I'm your host, Amanda Nottingale. I am a member of the Nipua Eats Healthy Committee here in Nipua. And uh, this cooking show is really all about featuring our Meals in 30 uh, Minutes program. And so you'll see this meal that's being featured today, our uh, Thai peanut stir fry, uh, out and about in our local grocery stores, uh, the Safeway and the co-op here in Nipua and these are great meals that are uh, been designed by our uh, in-house uh, dietitians and nutritionists and uh, they are done in 30 minutes and they are easy on your pocketbook. So uh, today we have a fantastic uh, couple of folks that are going to be uh, cooking for us. We are, uh, as always, profiling uh, some of Nipua's uh, much high profile Nipuanians and uh, so that's why uh, they are here today. Uh, as always, our competitors are doing the same recipe, however they have the option to add their own little flavors uh, into it uh, to try and sway our judges uh, one way or the other. And speaking of our judges, our fantastic panel of judges uh, joining us once again. Uh, they're like, oh my gosh, it never ends. This is the third time in a row. They're so hungry. <laughs> Um, we have with us uh, Chef uh, uh, J.P. Carpere from uh, Highlight Foods. Thank you very much for being here, Chef J.P. We have Lisa Adams. Uh, Lisa has all sorts of things, but you'll see her now as the owner of the mill in uh, Nipua and retired uh, Chef uh, uh, Richard Elman, uh, who is a great volunteer uh, all over uh, Nipua, has just recently retired here. So thank you very much. Our competitors today hail from Nipua. Get active chiropractic in Nipua. And we have with us Dr. Mark Parrott and versus Dr. Devin Fortis. Fortis, sorry. Uh, I totally screwed that up. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Devin. Uh, but thanks a lot for coming here today with us, guys. Um, thai peanut, or what do we got? Thai peanut, thai peanut stir fry. It's been three times in a row. I'm starting to lose my <laughs> lose my sense of, of speaking. Uh, have you guys uh, done this before? Did you try out the recipe before coming here? Nope. Nope. We both agreed to open it up tomorrow, like last night. Okay. So we we're on. Email. Oh, this is like completely yeah, blind. So he was out the email to last. Yeah. Night. So I just saw <laughs> on this. On purpose. <laughs> I said, did you like so, open it up before so I, you told Devin that he was yeah, actually I, doing I this? I waited five times, but I, Excellent. Okay. I haven't told Devin. That, so, but no. Seriously, we, okay. we're going in cold. It is okay. just skill versus skill. Skill it's, versus it's skill. Be a <laughs> okay, excellent. So, however, how, what's, kind of, what's the skill level like? Do we cook at home? Is that something we enjoy doing? Don't cook a ton at home. Okay. I'm a very picky eater. For oh, life, so. okay. So is It'll this? It'll be different. Adding some vegetables into the, the meals and things like that. Oh, so vegetables are not your favorite. No, 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 I'm good with them. You're good with them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Select ones we're allowed to use. Them. Oh, okay, gotcha, so. gotcha. Excellent. How about you, Mark? Yeah, I'm kind of the primary cook at home with my partner. It's yeah. quite busy till usually six at night with work and stuff. So I get food going and stir fries definitely in our in your wheelhouse. In, in our wheelhouse and probably in our weekly. Our weekly meal plan. Excellent. Good source of vegetables. And but this one you've not done before. Nope, never. Okay, excellent. Okay. Um, geez, any peanut allergies? Since we're talking about peanuts, I hope nobody has one. No, uh, how, are we good on the no, panel? Okay. Okay, do not try this at home if you have a peanut allergy. However, uh, so go ahead, guys. One, two, three, start cooking. Um, yeah, get, get to her. Um, not, however, you want to do. We've got all the things that you need. Uh, just shout if you need anything else. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Fantastic. So you guys have just come back from work, basically, right? You closed you up shop it. and you yep. came here Go to here. cook with us. That's fantastic. What uh, is this? Is this kind of a regular night for you, Mark? Then uh, coming home, having to do like a meal, yep. go Pick go up go. Kids, get the uh, yeah, get things rolling. Excellent. Excellent. How about you, Devin? Is that kind of how life is working out for you as well? Yep. It usually depends when we get home first and start to prep something. <laughs> and 
with my wife, there's often quite a few days where she's already home, so it's nice. They come home and she's got food made. So. Excellent, perfect. Exactly. Do you guys meal plan at all, or do you just kind of open up the fridge and hope for the best? A bit of both there. Yeah. In our house, we sit down on a Sunday night and we plan our week. Oh, wow. we that sounds very I'm so jealous of yeah. people. <laughs> we meal plan the week and then. It is grocery shopping on Sunday for up till Thursday because we don't want anything to go bad. Yep. And then usually it's a second shop on Thursday. Good and job. Then, uh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. You try to shop local at the Safeway in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a nice. great plug for our sponsors. <laughs> for our partners out there. For sure, for sure. So um, you've got smaller kids, uh, for sure. How uh, how do you find getting vegetables into their their diets are they veggie eaters are they picky eaters are they <clears throat> not too bad i think it, i think it's important early on to get your kids eating vegetables for sure and and raw vegetables are always better than cooked vegetables so it's and it's it's really it's having them in front of them is the key so it's easy just to grab a pack of crackers and throw it in front of them but if, if there's some vegetables pre-cut and we try to do yeah. that too in the house nice. pre-cut a bunch of veggies uh, get them out there and get them going. And have really good dip. Dip. Dip is key. Have a really good dip. Mm -hmm. yeah, dip. <laughs> really good dip. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Good stuff. How about, how about the, for our judges? Is uh, stir fry like the to go? Like, is that a go to that you always. Yeah. 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 Is it a, like a. Do you go out and buy vegetables specifically for, or is it kind of a, a the, the clean out of the. Clean out of the, the fridge. fridge. For in my world, but yeah. I'm not a chef. So. <laughs> yeah, I buy vegetables for it. So during the summer, I have a fresh garden. So yeah. I have a garden in my yard. And yeah, so, yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Did you know that it's really important to have two fruits or two vegetables at every meal? Mm. And uh, you know the difference between snot and broccoli? I do not. Kids don't eat broccoli. <laughs> Oh, my kids love broccoli. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. I think we're in for some dad jokes, yeah. folks. Yeah. <laughs> so is tomato a fruit then, right? Yes. So there you go. So I got to make sure we know the difference too, right? For sure. Good stuff. Good stuff. So what are you doing there, Debbie? You got some... Just grating up a bit of... Ginger here. Ginger, excellent. That's what make ginger. sure that's what I got first. Oh yeah, I was like, is that <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is ginger. <laughs> I'm gonna say garlic. Well, you can always grate the garlic as well. That would be okay. It could help. <laughs> Save my fingers that way. Oh, I can really smell the ginger. Do you use fresh ginger at home, or is that kind of a occasionally? Yeah. Yeah. I quite like it. It's got an extra zip to it. That's for sure. Mark's already thrown stuff into a pot over there. Gotta get that chicken going. Excellent. When are you adding your secret sauce, Mark? Or secret, is that later on or right later away? Later on. Later, later on. on, okay. Did you bring yourself a... a I've got some secrets. You got some secrets? Yeah. Excellent. We'll get there. <clears throat> You guys haven't shared your secrets at no, all. No, not yeah, talked about that at all yet. Fantastic, so. good. We're recommending not to divulge them to our uh, yeah. to our judging panel, just so 100%. they can uh, be a little more surprised. Maybe at the end, it might be the the difference between the two recipes. Excellent. That was uh, in one of our episodes. It was the deciding factor was the secret ingredient yeah, for sure. So, no, actually, both of them. Yeah, actually, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, the, same thing. yeah, yeah. the first yeah. one as well. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> it was so long ago. <laughs> it was three meals ago. Yeah, for sure. Good stuff. Excellent. What are you looking for? Yeah. Cutting board. Perfect. Just start hiding things on you. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to do it. That is, well, it is, a that is a competition. That is competition, yes. I love peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, right? Ty, yeah. I love peanut butter. Me too. 
Yeah. My husband eats it every day. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter and honey sandwich. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh really? That's his, uh, yeah. his go-to? Some yeah. of these quick yogurt with peanut butter and grapes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and apples with yeah. peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm. Well, they're supposed to eat a protein and fruit, or sugar, right? Mm -hmm. Love all of like those yeah. insulin spikes. Oh, Mark's good at that too. Look at him go. Wait, one knife has chicken on it, so I have to use this little tiny knife. Yes. That's what's not the <laughs> Might have been <laughs> right. <laughs> you know how we're talking about shopping local? I do. Yeah, it's really important. Do you know uh, where um, ghosts like to shop? I do not. A ghost in a boutique. Um. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Keep with your day job, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like this okay. all the time. No, not quite. Not quite, okay. <laughs> awesome. Boutique, excellent. Tablespoons. Oh, do you need a measuring? Oh, I think uh, Devin has them on the other side there. Oh, there you yeah, go. see, he's hiding them. They're probably over there somewhere. Yeah, they're right in the measuring cup. There's, a, there's these guys, and then. Oh, oh there might be, there's some right beside the soy sauce there. No. You want these guys. Oh, you just like those guys. Okay. This is perfect. So, do you guys usually you do your sauce from scratch, or do you <coughs> like bottle sauce? I am a bottle you sauce person, but it's all scratch. But it's we usually get scratch. Yeah. Basic yeah. stuff. Basic stuff like yeah. fish sauce, soy sauce. Oh, yeah. oh okay. So those are ingredients oil. though. Yeah. yeah. It's just so much well, depends if it's tired. So much sugar, it's so much sugar in high fructose corn yeah. syrup. Yeah. It's uh, it's much better than doing just the old uh, rice in sauce. It just tastes better. Mm -hmm. You know what I do buy? What Indian sauces? Oh, like the butter chicken. The patak and all the others. Yeah, the like kormas. The... Yes, the okay. real stuff. I go to a good Indian market and I find jars of sauces and stuff like that. I had, a, I had to teach myself how to use a crock pot. I never used a crock pot in my life. Mm -hmm. you know, Is that when moving to Canada you decided to use a crock pot? Actually, we, we were doing porch parties in this, in Florida. And like, oh, you bring your chili and keep it warm in a crock pot. Well, we always cooked, right? You know. You never kept anything warm other than I never, took it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was a chafing dish. So we had to actually learn how to use a crock pot. And I tell you, I love a crock pot now. There you go. <laughs> Good old crock pot. So there are other ingredients in behind you guys if you want to add anything mm, as well. So um, we are using uh, frozen vegetables. So frozen vegetables is a great uh, way to uh, actually have Cheap, like economical uh, produce at your fingertips. Uh, frozen veg usually has always been picked in season and has, you know, and is fantastic for nutritional value. Yeah, so, it's supposed to be better. Yeah. Like usually a frozen vegetable is sometimes processed within 12 to 24 hours yeah. coming out of the ground and actually has more nutritional value than what's sitting in your crisper for weeks at a time. Yep. Unless you're like JP who has a public garden. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. So what do you do? Do you guys process your veg? Uh, like, do you do lots of processing for your garden and stuff, JP? Yeah, absolutely, because the garden is so big that, yeah. Yeah. That's, but like, in France, from where I'm from in France, like, we use the garden. The season of the gardening starts in May, so you kind of start to have tomatoes end of May. Yeah. Through like September, half September, so like, we don't really have to process food Much. during that, so like, yeah. So it's a change definitely when you get to Canada and you have to be like, oh, it's so seasonally yeah. <laughs> different, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, winter are not that cold in, in France, so where I'm from, so we are able to still have some vegetables through the winter, so like, leeks and like, like, like so, more root vegetables yeah, maybe available? Vegetables, yeah, leeks, yeah. potatoes, and like, yeah. 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 And like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're not really supposed to live here, I don't think. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know, pool yeah, rooms and stuff. Yeah, like yeah I guess, right? Yeah. It's like, what the Absolutely. Heck? Mark, did you know potatoes are one of the most commonly eaten vegetables in North America? I did not know that. Yeah, do you also know why they make great detectives? No. They always keep their eyes peeled. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> do you get, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, Devin. Very good. I love it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Fantastic. 
so many puns. I'm surprised we didn't have <laughs> yeah. potato recipes being in. I know, we didn't have a potato. potato. Yeah, yeah, we did. Well, yeah. No, the, 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 the no key was. We didn't make the no key, though. No. Yeah, we didn't make it. <laughs> I make my scalloped potatoes on the, on the stove top because they don't take us long. Really? Yeah. I do the old way, like with the butter and the flour and the onions. And then so you I keep them do, on the stove top. Yeah. Because I find they take so long in the oven. Mind you, in the oven, everything always you taste. finish them in the oven to grip to get Yeah, like I'll put them, boil them, and then right, throw right, some right. cheese yep. on top. But I find that that was a, it's quicker. Oh, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Do you use a mandolin to cut your potatoes, or you just hand cut them? Hand cut them. I know. I'm too scared of those. I like. I like my Ben Reiner. Yeah, exactly. I'm like that. Oh, I think I was more scared of the tomato, the tomato shark, the tomato king. Oh, that's 13 razor blades. Yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Are we high enough heat, sir? Excellent. It smells really good. The, the sauce awesome. smells fantastic. The, uh, the lots of ginger and yeah. garlic and yeah, yeah. yeah. smells so good. I don't deal a lot with frozen vegetables, but it is a good option, hey. Yeah. And and then it's not you're not wasting. You're not buying a whole bunch no. of different kinds to make the one thing, right? It's, it's a fast option, and right. you just have to remove from the freezer. And, and away you go, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. don't have to clean them, to peel them, like. Yeah, yeah, it, for, definitely for a uh, meal in 30 or something like that, it's yeah. definitely a great option for, for folks out there. I keep a big bag of Asian vegetables in my freezer. Yeah, 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 yeah just for... I always have a, a bag of frozen vegetables, besides having, you know... That you do up yourself and you Oh, no, 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 oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no. No, okay. I have, I, buy, I go to the market and I buy a big bag of... Eight. It's there when I need it. Okay, gotcha. Other bus, I mean, as a chef, I always have mirepoix, onions, carrots, celery. Um, being Polish, cabbage. <laughs> There's certain things that's always in my fridge. Okay. So yeah. Nice. Anything else you need there? Mark, how's it going? I love the secret ingredient. Oh, sauerkraut. Secret ingredient. I eat sauerkraut. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I love sauerkraut pierogies. Oh, it is super secret. 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 You don't even know really what that is. Right. That's something they're new. They're the best. No idea. Don't even look. Don't. Oh, we even. They're my favorite. So Mark is utilizing his super secret, secret ingredient. Oh, okay. he, he has removed himself from the area. Yeah. So he can... <laughs> this is either going to be fantastic, yeah. or, or it's wreck the entire, entire taste. thing. <laughs> we're going to see. Don't don't be afraid to taste. Hold on, I will taste before. Yeah, I don't be afraid to taste. What is your go-to protein, Mark? Excuse me. What is your go-to protein? Like chicken, pork, uh, chicken, chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Devin? What's I wish it was steak, but that's a little expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, chicken. We love like chicken. Lots of chicken. Lots You're a red meat guy? Yeah, chicken cook like this is good. Plain chicken dress, so I can't Not do not it. your thing. No, I can't. can't do it that you know way. what I've been doing? I've been trying a lot is adding more fish to my diet. Mm -hmm. And the other day I did a seared blackened tuna steak that I got from the co-op. Ooh. It was really good. And there was about pink about that much in the middle. Good. Good. So you got if you're some overcooking, you must eat the can. What's that? If you're overcooking it, you must eat the can. And it was lovely. Yeah. Tuna steak is gorgeous. Nice. Right? I don't, I don't think it was that much. Like, it lasted me a couple of days. Because like, you only have a little bit of it. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat a whole tuna steak in one. <laughs> you're like, that's a little too fishy. Yeah, a little too fishy. Okay, we got the It was very nice. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I take my tuna. I put a little bit of soy sauce and sesame oil, and I roll it in it, and then okay. I take my sesame seeds and I roll it in it, ah. and I seal it. Nice. And just okay. sh 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 do that. My brother's like every like restaurant, I mean, it's it's an appetizer. Oh, so is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a nice little, a nice like little tuna. Nice yeah. yeah. kind of <laughs> the shake, shake mm. of the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess, selection. are you like selecting out, I want a quarter, a and I want, <laughs> and, then, and I guess with the frozen vegetables too, you have to make sure you're not cooling off your plate too much, There's right? There's a lot of beans in here. I usually nuke them separately. Yeah, beans, yeah. I usually throw them in the microwave. Oh, I'll give them, yeah. Beans. Yeah, well, I'm no, cooking something no, else. No, no. You usually have your starch, your noodles, your meat, and your veg. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good.
Are those pans hot? I don't hear as much sizzle. I sizzle. I was like, I, I, think, I think the vegetables. <laughs> the frozen vegetables. I know the frozen vegetables. Yeah. 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 Crank that up a little bit. <laughs> For sure. Good stuff. So do you guys get lots of questions regarding uh, nutrition and, and things like that? For sure. Yeah? For sure, yeah. It's, um, well, the two most important things you can do is to be active, which we promote, and then to eat well, right? And that old saying, you are what you eat, and, and it's true, you know, and, and uh, it's important for your body to fuel itself well, but also to burn those fuels. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's, uh, that's why chiropractors make such great comedians. We just crack everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that a good remark. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I have no words for that. I just really don't. It's so, it's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> And one of the biggest struggles I think people have is, is truly the cost of, of eating. And we, yeah. we hear a lot of that now from, you know, uh, our, our patients. And because and, we talk about weight loss, we talk about, you know, healthy choices. And I had a patient in the other day and, and he was getting a lot of leg cramps. And I said to him, I said, well, how much water do you drink? He said, I don't drink water. And I said, well, what do you drink? I drink pop. Uh, and yeah. I asked, how much pop do you drink? And he says, I think seven. A day? I said, I said, you drink seven cans of pop a day? No, I drink seven one liters of pop a day. <gasps> oh. And then he drank Mountain Dew on top of it all, which has oh. the highest caffeine rate. And sugar. You know, so then, exactly. And so he was so dehydrated because of the caffeine and stuff. So then we talked about, you know, proper nutrition, proper hydration, and, really you know, cute. caffeine withdrawal <laughs> problems, and it goes on and on. And, and, uh, and a lot of his musculoskeletal health, his problem was caffeine addiction. Like, wow, that's so, interesting. So it all ties in and it all... Yeah. 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 Those those little things that you don't think yeah. too much For of, sure. right? Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Some people think they have diet drinks. Yeah. Diet That's drinks are the. And it's like, no. Yeah. 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 A little more heat. In it. How's it going there, Devin? Coming around. Excellent. Yep. They did a study in the United States and it was a spot study where they phoned a thousand people in one day and they asked uh, what fruits and vegetables that their family had eaten that day. And the number one vegetable that was eaten was potatoes. And I think it was, 90, it was in the 90 percentile was French fries. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the only vegetable that the family ate that day. Mm. So, you know, you look at something like this where you can you know, affordably eat and get a meal in 30 30 minutes, it's, mm -hmm. it's better than grabbing a bunch of fries. Yeah, absolutely. Because really, when you look at this recipe, um, and each of you are really, I think, one was it two chicken breasts, Shirley? Yeah, so two chicken breasts uh, and a, a bag of frozen, uh, of frozen veg, and then some probably some things that you already have in your uh, pantry. Um, you know, you may not have rice wine vinegar or things like that, but you can probably get away with other things that you can substitute and, and make something very similar. And really, you have a meal for your family and probably less than $25, $30. So really, it can be very economical when you look at you know, going out for even fast food is not oh economical anymore. It is <laughs> so, not. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Well, if you look at how people in the Mediterranean or people in Asia, in Thailand specifically, you're getting, whether it be a healthy noodle, lots of vegetables, and maybe 20, 30% the protein, mm -hmm. animal protein. Yeah. And so you're having a lot more, vet, a lot of a healthier lifestyle. Yeah. And you don't need an eight ounce steak. You need, yeah. you know, four to six ounces at the most. Mm -hmm. Devin is already going in with his sauce. He is going to be confused. It's just changing our language of food again. <laughs> we, we learned that when we were in Thailand. We totally changed. Um, we spent six weeks in Thailand and we just totally changed how we eat. We ate on the street almost everything. Mm. The street food was really good. But Thailand is mostly yeah. street food, so you know, we have a fancy restaurant. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I like, like Dr. Mark was saying, is to take the time, like, take an hour on a Sunday night, sit down, do your meal prep, 
Like right now, you have like access to so many apps on your iPhone or like on your phones to do meal prep with healthy choice. Yeah. Anyway, it's easy now. So like, I don't understand why people don't do that. Then. And to take the time with your family yeah. mm -hmm. if you can. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes, right? Like that's... I mean, you can go ahead and peel and cut a carrot mm -hmm. or you can buy a bag of vegetables or a bag of fresh vegetables mm -hmm. or a salad mix. And a lot of the work is done. If you're intimidated by, you know, the, the knife skills and the prep and everything else, the, the co-op and Safeway have products that make life so much easier. Mm -hmm. It's already there. Whether you're busy or you don't have the skill level, you can still buy the right food. But, you know, we were mentioning before is like uh, show your kids at first, like when they are young, like instead of spending like two hours at the restaurant with them having an iPhone or iPad in front of their eyes, just stay home, prep a meal together, peel some carrots, teach them how to prepare vegetables, yeah. teach them how like to, to cook a meat as well, and yeah, we'll to do pastry, healthy pastry, but yeah. Mm -hmm. It is very true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How, how long, how young did you start cooking? Mark, or was that a thing that you well, did or was that yeah, like yeah, later on in life? I was going to say to add what JP said is uh, it also it's food waste. Yeah. Right? Cool. If you don't prep and you think, you know, you go to the store and you buy all this food and, you're, and you, you end up throwing it out, it's, it's a huge, like we throw, right now, some households throw away 50% of their yeah. food. Eee. And it's, it's, it's one of the number one things we can do for our environment. It's the number yeah. one thing we can do for... You know, just yeah. sustainability, right? Food, food weight. Uh, Canada is one of the leading. Yeah. Well, look at our grocery people stores. In, in, yeah, it's in like a candy store. store. Yeah, like it's. Yeah, yeah. It's you limitless. show up and. But like, I, I see when I go to to Costco, like I have my sm I have my list. I know what I need for like three, four days. You know, and yeah. and I go and like. Exactly, and I see those people that they are like the the cat. There's so no way you full need all of everything. That. Like, right. Where's oh, that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and what I've changed in my household is I've only buy spinach now mm -hmm. because I can make salads of spinach. I can put them in anything, Let's and I can them. also cook it. Right. Mm -hmm. So when it's starting to go yucky, you can cook it up I cook it. it. Yeah. I cook absolutely. it and I make an omelet with it, or I throw it in whatever or pasta. Yeah. But that's all the only lettuce. Kind yeah. of stuff that I usually buy now That's is because I can, yeah, well, stretch yeah, we, it. We did. Um, we just bought some romaine, and we had for lunch. We had some barbecue pork that mm -hmm. we smoked, and we had lettuce wraps with barbecue pork. Mm -hmm. So instead of having bread, we had you know just yeah. rolled it up and had something healthy. And again, we have, mm -hmm, with uh, Google, with YouTube, we have access to so many uh, resources now like, to find recipes to find. Yeah. Like, yeah. But do you think people mm -hmm. are so much over more overwhelmed by that? Like with, with what with the, the, I know, they yeah. just they want to be the uber chefs yeah. instead of just the, the basic. That's probably one of the few positives that came mm -hmm. out of COVID. Yeah. Is that people, you talk about you know, people like back. going to Amazon or going to HelloFresh, <laughs> the meal kits, mm -hmm. where people are just learning how to bake again. Mm -hmm. People are actually cooking Sour at home. Sourdough starters. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or pickling. One of my nephews in New York is like, he's buying bakery stuff. He's baking now. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, this is great. Uh, that know? is very true. It's excellent to see. How's yeah. it going back there, guys? Pretty much ready for plating? Absolutely. You go right ahead. Wow, that was quick. Mm -hmm. Well, it's stir fry. It's going to be quick. Yeah. So, <laughs> fantastic. So, Devin, how about you? Uh, were you like a cooker when you were young, or that was not your no, skill? I really know. I wouldn't do a whole lot of that. I started traveling for junior hockey and things like that. And the first place that I lived, I didn't have to do much cooking. And progressively, as I got further in, I did more and more cooking, kind of out of necessity. Yeah. So, yeah. that was where I started. And then, college, I got pretty used to cooking just for myself. And yeah. Now it's kind of evolved into sometimes cooking for more people, like our family. And yep. The thing I enjoy doing the most probably is like the Thanksgiving dinner. I like doing the meats and stuff. Oh, like do you like things. the big, the big yeah, meal? Yeah, like doing a turkey and things like that. That's what I've enjoyed probably the most when I do cook. So, Fantastic. Yeah. That's a skill level in itself. That's always like the panic call to mom on, you know, how long do I the cook this bird hotline. That's right. <laughs> the, the, that's the Google. How long do I have to cook a turkey for? Absolutely. It's not your pudding. <laughs> Nothing better. A roast beef dinner. Good stuff. Yep. So the guys are just starting to plate. This is looking good. It smells fantastic. Unfortunately, we don't have rice to go with your stir fry, but really, it's about the Dude, sauce. We need two courses of starch right Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We will just. It's what happens when you film all in one day. <laughs> 
Yes, we do have other updates. Or me. <laughs> yeah, there's... <laughs> Good stuff. All right. You guys can serve as you need to. There are forks and stuff just on the um, thing. And if you want to zhuzh it up any other way, you go right ahead do what you need to do. It's nice and steamy. Looks good. Yeah, looks fantastic. You go ahead. Oh, wow, it's so like so like this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, Devin's got some flair going on here. This is nice. Excellent. You know, we're talking about carbohydrates, and it's carbohydrates are good if we can try to get whole grain rices and stuff like that. Um, did you know why the uh, cosmetic companies are now using rice in their makeup? Because it's a lot easier to achieve a pilaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, Mark. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. I thought I'd save the chef jokes. Yeah, you know, kind of last. Excellent, food excellent. Food. I love it. It's good stuff. We will not indict you with anything. <laughs> no more? No, there's no more? I think that's the end of our list. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, guys. This looks fantastic. The, the judging panel has dove right in. They are. They are going. Uh, we are going to let the uh, judges have a little taste. They're going to deliberate, and uh, the guys are going to. We'll be back in just a moment, uh, and we'll have all of the results. Very all cool. right, we're back. Uh, the judges have uh, almost cleaned their plates, <laughs> and so it, it obviously was good. Uh, so, uh, what did we think, judges? I thought the recipe was really, really good. They followed it really well that there was uh, a lot of stuff was already prepped so the knife skills didn't really come into it but they did grate their ginger and did all that properly um plating um devon's plating was definitely um, a little bit uh, more refined refined a little bit more <laughs> i love the sriracha and the peanuts uh mark was a little bit uh, a little bit drippy a little bit, a little bit cleaner <laughs> could have been a little bit cleaner um, and mark we actually don't know what your secret ingredient was we couldn't, really? we couldn't figure out. Mm -hmm. I put in a, a red Thai chili paste. Ah. Mm -hmm. So okay. there definitely was a curry paste. Curry paste. Curry, 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 sure. And then yeah. I want to bring out a little bit of that Thai curry yeah. flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, and I put in a fair bit. No, wasn't no, no it, I, I think it, it is. <laughs> like, yeah, the, <laughs> there, uh, there's a couple of us in the back going, yeah, no, no, that's got some uh, kick to it for sure. Uh, Devin, what was yours? The red in it now. For mine, I put some water chestnuts in there. I wanted to have something with a little bit more texture. Okay, yes, that was it worked. Yeah, yeah the crunch was good. Excellent. Good. Great job, both of you. Yes. It was super fun. Love the meal. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. Plenty of sauce. Yeah, it was really a great recipe. Whoever mm -hmm. came up with the recipe, thank yeah. you for, you know. And uh, it seemed the, awesome. Like the, yeah. It was very well balanced. I mean, we got mm -hmm. lots of everything in it. And of course, there'd been more if we had the rice to soak up yeah. all this stuff, but we didn't need any more starches. Today. <laughs> so all in all, it was great. Like, I have no complaints on you. So I, I love water chestnuts. That was just that, that was a, a little, that was a little bit on there. Give it a little bit of crunch. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, texture Excellent. is right on. I know yeah. we want to get people eating more vegetables for sure. There's no doubt about that. And what's nice about this, you can put, besides using frozen veg, which was a great easy item to use. Um, it also, if people have allergies, they don't have to use peanut butter. They can use a, a sun butter, a wild butter, an almond butter. So it still gets the nuttiness. But you can get away from the allergens, for, especially yeah. the kids today. Mm -hmm. For sure. Because, you know, with all the peanut butter and everything else. So I think this, the recipe can go in a lot of different directions. It's a great recipe. Yeah. Chef JP, what do you think? Well, I love it. Like, both, both were very good. Both have different flavor as well. One was spicy, one's not too spicy as well. So, yeah, I like both. It was excellent. Mm. Okay, good. Uh, who is announcing our winner? Um, I am. Okay. <laughs> um, Devin. 
Oh, great job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh definitely. The plate, the plate, Excellent. The water chip crust, crust is very yeah. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. fantastic. Uh, so, Devin, you, uh, along with bragging rights at work, uh, for sure, uh, also <laughs> will, will receive uh, the coveted golden, golden spoon. Golden. <laughs> Just careful of the. Careful that. Good stuff. Congratulations. Yeah, Very good. Good, good stuff. Good job. Thank Excellent. Well. Thanks a lot, guys. What do you think of the... We thank you so much for coming in. Uh, was it a good time for you? It was, it was great. Awesome. It, was awesome. it was good. Fun. Something totally different to do. And yeah. It was fun doing the recipe on the fly there for the first time. Super easy. I think anybody could probably do that. So it's Excellent. good. Excellent. Yeah, it was good. Fantastic. Yeah. And, great. And, and good stuff for the community, right? We're about health and promoting health, and that's what your committee is doing. I think this is wonderful for... For Nepal. Good job, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much to our judging panel as well. And uh, if you want to find out more, please uh, go and see uh, Nepal Eats Healthy on Facebook and Instagram. Find our uh, Meals in 30 uh, me uh, recipes. You can find them online or you can find them at your local grocery store here in Nepal at Safeway and at Co op. Uh, Till next time, and there will be next time. Uh, <laughs> We will see, and we'll be in different outfits, I promise. Uh, we'll see you again. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you.